The King of the Cowboys, Roy Rogers. Brought to you by Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Transcribed from out of the West and into your home, riding the range of mystery and adventure, blazing the trail of Western story and song. Boy Willing and the writers of the Purple Sage, that teller of tall tales, Gabby Hayes, the Queen of the West, Dale Evans, and in person, the King of the Cowboys himself, Roy Rogers. Oh, howdy, folks. This is Roy Rogers. Buckaroos, the things that Dale and Gabby and I saw up north of Paradise Valley this last week ought to put you on your guard all summer long. And I mean that straight from the shoulder. You'll see why when Gabby starts telling you about it. They sure will, son. Buckaroos, what we're going to tell you that day is dead serious. Uh, excuse me a second till I ring out my whiskers. They're still damp. Had to swim big stocking river, you know. And whiskers don't seem to dry as quick as they used to. Or maybe water's wetter these days. There, now they feel better. Well, we call this story the mystery of Squatter's Island. Roy and Dale and me was headed for Mineral City the other day when we heard a noise that sounded awful familiar. Roy! Roy, that's shooting a minute ago. We heard it, Sheriff. Sounded like a ward broke loose. Two federal men were taking supplies to the arsenal at High Point. The coal gang rode down on them. Escaped with everything. Ammunition, tear gas, and not a big supply, but enough to make coal in his outfit mighty dangerous in this territory. Let's go after him then. They're headed north towards Pine Grove. That's where the forest fire is burning, Sheriff. We'll work out from Stone Valley. Hal Kohler used to be a good friend of mine before he turned outlaw. But now I'd run him down just as quick as I would any other gunfighter. <laughs> Boy. We won't have to give up and ride back to the valley, will we? I don't know. Roy! Wait a minute. Roy Rogers! That you, Sheriff? Yes, there we are. I'll be right there. He probably thinks we got coalers coming to get in on it itself. I've been looking for you folks. Forest fire's out of control. Another blaze is started by Pine Junction. We saw smoke over that way. Nothing can stop the flames now until they reach Big Stock and River. <laughs> whoa, 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 boy. Well, what about the folks living between the fire and the river? I think most of them are out, but we'd better give up trying to find Kohler and warn them. There's one strip of land still open where they can get out between Pine Grove and the fire coming down Red Mountain. You ride south, Sheriff, and we'll work down so that we come out the river crossing Squatter's Island. If worse comes to worse, we can swim over to the island. Let's ride, Dale and Gabby. <laughs> There's only one way of getting out, between Red Mountain and Pine Grove. We'd better head that way right now. I can't leave here. My cabin, all I've Let got. your cabin go. Forget everything except yourself and your horse. If you want to get out of here alive, hit the trail, Dale and Gabby. We've got to keep moving. But I can't leave, Roy. My wife, she's ailing. Well, have you got an extra horse? Sure, but... Dale will help you put your wife on one. Yes, we'll make her as comfortable as we can, but you've just got to leave here. Well, while you're doing that, though, Dale, I'll help Gabby warn the other folks up the canyon. We'll be back by that time. No, no, I worked too hard to leave everything. Here's his horse, son. <laughs> Climb on. We've got to get you out of here. Your horse doesn't count now. You've got to ride for your life. The fire's coming fast. We're cut off, son. The flames have cut us off. That's all right. We've got to the place we picked out. Squatter's Island is out there in the middle of the river. The swift current, Roy. We, 
We can't. So tie a handkerchief over your face, Dale. That'll filter out the smoke. <laughs> the heat, too. <laughs> it's an awful current in this river, son. I'd a whole lot rather battle the river current and roast in a fire, Pappy. Come on, let's go. Easy, pal, boy. As quick as the water comes up to your horse's nose, get off and swim. Hang on to his tail. Stay in the middle, Dale, so Ryan and I can watch you. You bet. Keep watching me. I'll show you how to get across. That ain't what I meant. Off your horse now. Grab his tail. We'll have to fight this current from here to the island. Easy, Trigger. Steady, fella. We made it, anyhow. <laughs> Say, sure took the wind right out of you folks, I guess, huh? Well, yeah. We ought to keep in shape like you do, Pappy. Mm-hmm. Ain't easy, I can tell you that. Roy, look behind us. The smoke, the flames, even the twilight sky is fiery red. There's something even worse, Dale. All that timber burning, homes, barns, animals, and everything. We're lucky to have gotten out alive. Hey, my six-shooter is dripping wet, and so is all my shells. So are my matches, Pappy. But there's a cabin in a barn in that grove of trees. I'm hoping the last fellow who was here left a few supplies behind. Then we can have supper. Let's go have a look. What do you say? Seems a shame you folks have to wear wet clothes. <clears throat> Of course, such things don't bother me <clears throat> much. Oh, I'm glad they don't, Gabby. Yeah, I, I, I ain't a shiver in a b- b- bit. Somebody stayed in this cabin, and not so very long ago either. See the tracks? Maybe they're still here. We'll find out. Sorry, folks. Oh, oh! It's Al Kohler. Come in. Raise your hands first. Close it all, Maury. You get their guns, Frank. Bill? It's all right to light the lantern now. Kind of surprised to see you, Kohler. Why? I heard you've been looking for me. What do you mean fooling people by sitting here in the dark? We were making bets on whether or not you'd get through the river. Keep them up, Rogers. Glad you came. We need a couple of good boys to saw wood and polish leather. We knew was a good cook, too, Miss Evans. Don't try putting any of that wolf bait in our coffee. Even though there is a box on the shelf in the kitchen. Let's cut this, Kohler. What? We're not keeping these three. We're getting rid of them. Wait a minute, Ross. Who's heading up this outfit? There's no argument. I am, Ross. What I say goes. Any of you others want to argue the point? If you do, speak up. All right. We have to stay on this island till that fire burns itself out and things cool down on shore. 24, 48 hours, maybe. Kohler? Oh, I'm talking. We're getting rid of these people right now. I'm I... talking, Ross. Rogers did me a favor once, and I'm not forgetting it. That was before you turned out, Law Kohler. I don't care when it was. I'm returning the favor. You and your friends will stay alive until we leave. The only thing that can stop it is for one of these others to get big enough to take my job. That might happen. And I don't think it will. Sit down, Rogers. Relax. I'll let my partner alone. I'm all right. What do you want, Kohler? What are you up to? Six of your men sitting here with hands in their guns, but just sitting. What do you want? I mentioned you did me a favor once, Rogers. That was a long time ago. A very long time ago. When I was driven off my ranch, you fought for me. I fought against crooks. And we won. Then other crooks came. The other crooks took my land and I turned outlaw. But you fought for me and now I'll return the favor. Like I said, I'll see that you stay alive until we can leave this island. Why? So you can keep on holding us while you bargain with the law? I'll kill you! Wait! And they'll shoot him. Yes, Dale! It's Rosie! I caught her fooling around with that box of wolf. And you hit her! I've got a gun, Roger. Your gun won't do you any good. Could you That takes care of you. I had it coming. Oh, Wait, Now come on. Which one of you wants to do what? 
Come on, I'm ready. We may go down, but we'll go down fight. Buckaroos, I've been proud of my partner Roy a lot of times, but I've never been as proud of him as I was right then. Didn't make one bit of difference to him that all them outlaws had guns. He whipped the fella that hit Dale, and he dared the rest of them to come on. I'll tell you whether they did or not, just as soon as we have a meeting on the kind of breakfast Roy and all his pals eat every morning. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Roats. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Roats. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. When you fellas and girls take part in your favorite sport or activity, do you ever picture yourself the top star? Of course you do. So remember, there's a cereal that helps grow the stars of the future. It's Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. Yes, Quaker Oats helps build the stars of the future. You know, doctors say the more often youngsters eat a good oatmeal breakfast, the better they grow. And here's why they say that. A recent survey shows only one school child in five gets the kind of breakfast he should have. So just think of what you are getting when you eat a heap and bowl of Quaker Oats tomorrow morning. You're getting the strength, energy, and endurance that helps build stars of the future. And boy, oh boy, what a scrumptious, creamy, delicious flavor in every luscious mouthful of Quaker Oats. It's a giant in flavor, a giant in nutrition, a giant in value. Yes, tell your mom she gets more value than ever with today's low price of Quaker Oats. It's now an even smaller part of a penny a serving. So, partner, several times a week, enjoy Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. Get more strength, more energy, more endurance from Quaker Oats, the cereal that can help you grow to be a star of the future. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Well, let's get on with our story, buckaroos. For a while, after we met Hal Kohler and his outlaws on Squatter's Island, I figured my brains had got smoked up in that forest fire. Kohler was sure tricky. He didn't want us killed, even though we knowed we was after his scalp. Well, one of the outlaws hit Dale and Roy cut loose. He laid that fella out cold and then turned to the others. They all had guns, but Roy dared them to come on. Which one of you wants to do what? Come on, I'm ready. We may go down, but we'll go down fight. I'll kill Rogers for what he done to me. All I'll right, Ross. Him. Come on, Ross. I'm waiting. Quiet. All of you, quiet. What of your guns? I'll use mine on the first man who moves. Caller, you're working yourself right out as leader of this outfit. You made the suggestion yourself that she use wolf bait in our food. I said hold it, Ross. What if she was using it? Wouldn't you do the same if you were in her place? I gave these people my promise that they'd be alive until we left here. And that promise goes. I owe Rogers a favor. I'm paying off. You're paying off if you can. I'm paying off. He'll be alive until we leave here. And for how long after you leave, Kohler? We'll talk about that when the time comes. You three can spend the night in the lean-to attached to the kitchen. There's boxes to sit on. You won't sleep anyhow. Kohler, I don't like the looks of this. We're not half friend or half enemy. We're all enemy. Let's leave it that way. Well, Dale, Gabby... There's nothing we can do right now except follow orders and spend the night in the lean-to. Kohler was right when he said we wouldn't sleep in it tonight. I keep wondering about him. He did suggest using the wolf bait. It wasn't just an accident. Maybe he wants us to get away, son. He ain't guarding us himself. He's too busy. He's in bed with his gang because he refused to let them kill us. He's keeping an eye on Ross and any others working against him. I guess our only chance will come as part of the gang revolts against Kohler. They won't turn on him, Dale. Kohler's a strong man. I always admired him when he was trying to make a go of things in Paradise Valley. When he gave his word, he kept it. When he believed something was right, nothing could change him. 
His men must know he's that kind of a man. Then there isn't much chance for us, is there? Son. Yes, Pappy? I wasn't going to say nothing about this unless I had to, because you're young and kind of reckless, but, well, toads and porcupines. Now we got to be reckless. Here, take your gun. Gabby! Where'd you get that gun, Pappy? When you tackled Ross for hitting Dale Roy, you knocked his gun clear across the floor. Everybody was watching you two, so I picked it up. Gabby, this gun will help a lot. Just a minute now. What's first, Roy? The guard outside the window. Shoot to kill if they move. Somebody's at the door. I'll put the gun in my belt. We won't have much of a chance in a fight cornered in a little room. Cover him now. Get him up. You're covered. That's four of us. I reckon we can count, Ross. One of you got my gun. It disappeared during that fracas a while ago. I want it. Why, you pinheaded... It's in Roger's belt. I'll get it. Don't lower your hands, Rogers. You don't want that gun, Ross. You want to go flying back to your... Come on. Let's take these bars. Let me take this last man, Peppy. You and Dale grab their guns. Get out of here. Come on, we're set now. We'll find a place so we can finish with the rest of this outfit. In this old barn. Go straight through and out the back. Out the back, Roy. We better stay inside. Say, wait a minute. Roy, if we stayed in the barn, they... Look! Might... It's the stuff they stole from the Federal men. The ammunition and tear gas. Let's take it. Come on, quick. Out the back way. We can hold them off better if we stay here, son. No, let them blast the way at the barn. After they figure they've killed us, they'll come in. And we'll have them trapped. They'll be inside, and we'll be waiting outside where we can see them. But not be seen. <laughs> You call the turn that time, son. They do think we're in the barn, Roy. Stay here at the side of the barn where we can see what they do. Hide in this tall grass. Give them a chance to shoot up the barn and go inside. They're in the barn. Let's blast them out. That ammunition we left inside will help if we can hit it. Where is it? Hold your fire. It's Kohler. Yeah, this may spoil everything. What do you want, Kohler? I'm still running this outfit. I gave those people my word your that they failed. Your word doesn't count anymore. Put down your guns. I'll go in after them. No, you won't. I'm taking over here. The boys all agree we have to get rid of Rogers and his crowd. We'll settle that later. I'm going in after Rogers. Take one step toward the barn, Kohler, and you'll never take another step anywhere. I'm walking to that barn right now. I said we'd settle our differences later, Ross, and we will. Oh! Kohler, Ross got him. Rogers, you're on your own. I tried. I tried to pay you back. Too many of my men were against me. I didn't want to do that head of robbery. When it was a success, then. Uh, uh, hey, sounds like he's gone. All right, into the barn. We won't wait any longer. We'll go in and get the Rogers outfit right now. I'm heading this gang. What I say goes. <laughs> They're inside now, all of them. But they won't stay long. Dale, wait here. Pappy, go around to the other side of the barn by the window. I'll cover the front. When I give the signal, shoot that tear gas bomb through the window. We ought to shoot them down like they did Kohler. But we'll get them for the law. And the law will take care of them. All right, Dale, Gabby, let them have it. you coyotes, out this way. But drop your gun. We'll shoot any man who comes out with a gun in his hand. Hey, we going at him, son. Look at them. Tears streaming down their cheeks. That did it, boy. We got them. Yeah, but there's still a long job ahead of us. We'll have to hold them now until we can get off this island. When things cool off on shore, boy, we can send Trigger. Trigger would go for help if we sent him. Hey, Trigger isn't here, Dale. He's gone. Oh. And I don't know what happened to him. Say, fellas and girls, wouldn't it be wonderful if you could say hocus pocus over the cookie jar and suddenly it would be full of delicious cookies? Well, it's almost as quick as saying hocus pocus 
when your mom uses Quaker Oats' new fast one-bowl method for making oatmeal cookies. Yes, the real old-fashioned oatmeal cookies. Hope your moms are listening in, because this new Quaker Oats recipe that's on every package of Quaker Oats and Mother's Oats is amazing. You don't have to cream the shortening. You don't beat the eggs. You use only one bowl. You mix less than three minutes. And presto, there they are, ready to pop in the oven. Then, when they come out so yummy and crunchy looking, and the youngsters spot them, presto again. Those oatmeal cookies disappear like magic. But with this fast, easy one-bowl method, you can fill the cookie jar quickly and often. And you can make your oatmeal cookies extra exciting with such goodies as chocolate chips, peanuts, dates, or coconut. Look right now for this one-bowl recipe for old-fashioned oatmeal cookies on your package of Quaker Oats or Mother's Oats. Or get a package first thing tomorrow morning. Remember, Quaker Oats and Mother's Oats are the same. Delicious, nutritious, makes you feel ambitious. The giant of the cereals is Quaker Oats. Like tear gas, do they? Kind of tough on the eyes and throat, Pappy. I'm afraid we're running out of rope, Roy. When we run out, we'll tie them with anything we can find, but we're tying all of them. And they're staying tied until we find a way of getting across that river and back to Mineral City. Move your feet together, you toad. How can I tie them when they're spread apart? Roy, how are we going to get them across the river? I'm hoping we can find Triggerdale. Maybe Gabby or I could ride in and get help. That's Trigger. There he is. Oh. Roy, Roy! Here we are, Sheriff! Listen, you prairie dog. This is the last time I'll tell you before I break your legs. Get them feet together. I don't know how you got here, Sheriff, but you and your men are sure a welcome sight. How we got here? Didn't you send Trigger for us? Send Trigger? Well, no. Well, he came. What's more, he led the way downstream so we didn't have to go through that smoldering timber. Good boy, Trigger. He knew we were in trouble. He didn't even wait to be told. Well, what's all this? The Kohler outfit, Sheriff. <laughs> Looks like they just went out of business. They did. And we three want to see that a murder charge is filed against Ross here. Which one's Ross? The ugly one with the bruises. He shot Kohler without cause, Sheriff. Kohler had given us his word that we'd be kept alive until they left. And while Kohler was trying to see that his word was kept, Ross shot him down. Kohler would have made a pretty good citizen if he hadn't gotten off on the wrong foot a file back, Sheriff. You know, he had all the loyalty and strength a man needs. Trouble is, he did get off on the wrong foot. You ring-tailed five-winder. Sheriff, hold this feller down. I'm going to bust his leg. The skin-headed reptile. He keeps moving his feet apart just when I get the rope all set. They won't need to be tied now, Pappy. We've got plenty of men here now to take them back. Well, he's going to be tied. He's been so ornery, I'm going to tie him up and make him walk all the way to town on his knees. The low-down porcupine. It'll be a sad trip back to town, Sheriff. Because of Hal Kohler, you mean? Well, yes. But more because of the country we'll have to see. Everything is burned out. The trees and the grass, the animals, people's homes. All they've worked for. It's awful, Roy. Somebody probably threw a lighted cigarette on the ground. Or left a campfire burning. Now the trees that nature took a hundred years to grow are gone. Well, none of the buckaroos who ride with me will ever be careless with fire. I know that. They appreciate the forest and animals too much. Nancy, Roy's mighty proud of you, buckaroos. He'd have been proud of me, too, only the sheriff come up too soon. Shucks, I'd have snapped that rattler's leg like twigs, the big elk, not putting his feet together when I wanted to tie him up. Well, the singers all tuned up, so let's listen to them. Roy and Dale and Foy Willing, the writers of the Purple Sage. Here's their song. Brush those tears from your eyes And try to realize That the ache in my heart is for you Brush those tears from your eyes And try to realize That from now on I'll always be 
true I went away But it didn't mean to stay I know that I'll regret it Until my dying day Brush those tears from your eyes And try to realize That the ache in my heart is for you Brush those tears from your eyes for now, folks. This is Roy Rogers saying to all of you, from all of us, goodbye, good luck, and may the good Lord take a liking to you. See you next week. Don't forget smile to me out of the sunshine and the frown from a rainy day. Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals, presents the Roy Rogers Show, transcribed each week at this same hour with the writers of the Purple Sage, Gabby Hayes, Dale Evans, and the king of the cowboys himself, Republic Pictures' great star in person, Roy Rogers. Here's something Roy Rogers wants you to know. He says, Partner, I was raised on Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. Yes, sirree. Roy Rogers knows there's more growth more endurance in oatmeal than any other whole grain cereal. So ask your mom to give you delicious Quaker Oats often. Then you will be eating the very same cereals Roy Rogers was raised on. And remember, Quaker and Mother's Oats are the same. (laughs) Republic's latest Roy Rogers picture is Susanna Pass. And Gabby Hayes may now be seen in the Paramount release, El Paso. This is Art Ballinger speaking for Quaker Oats, the giant of the cereals. This is the Mutual Broadcasting System. (laughs) 